Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I don't do any fancy intros or anything like this, but this is a different setup. In this video, we will be looking at the Disk Pi Rack Mate T1. The team over there were fantastic and sent one of these over for me so I can make a video on one of these. It's going to be awesome. I've been looking at these for a while. We've been talking about it in the Discord community server for a while as well. Link in the description, of course, if you want to join. These have been talked about for a while, so in this video what I want to do is I want to showcase exactly what the Desk Pi is. If it's not immediately obvious what this is, it's a small rack, right? And it's dedicated for things like single board computers, uh, Raspberry Pis, all of that good stuff. Now, I haven't actually looked at any reviews or anything like this, I've mainly just looked at the listings and the descriptions of what this is. So, let's not talk about it too much, let's pull it out and see what we've got. So straight away, we've got the, I guess this is kind of like the user manual. Yep, it's a user manual. It's got a whole bunch of things in here. We'll probably look at this later if I get stuck. So let me try to figure out how I can pull this out. Let's just see if I can grab it from the handles here. Will it just fall out? I probably shouldn't just let it drop. And there it is. Look at it. It's tiny. It's like a little baby. Right, so on the box, I'll give you a close up in a second. Uh, there's two disc pie uh, like sort of adapters what they do is take your Raspberry Pi from like the small mini HDMI that it has to a full-size HDMI and a couple other things I believe we'll have a look better look at that in a second and then you've got a bunch of um, Mounting screws right like to be able to mount boards and all of that good stuff to the rack mate itself So giving you a better view here. So as you can see this is just the uh, rack itself So this is where everything will kind of sit so there's a bay up here as you can see so here I can put a couple Raspberry Pis, which is going to be awesome. So that's the idea. I can put some Raspberry Pis in here, and then you can actually get more mounting trays off of their website, which I'm probably going to end up doing. But for now, this is going to be perfect for just getting started. So what I'm thinking about is putting my NAS down here. Uh, that would probably work quite well. And then on this top tray, I can mount some Raspberry Pis. Right, so we've got the rack made out now, right? It's all out of the box. So what I want to show you is a couple of things that came in the small box. So the best way to explain this is to show you it all in whole. So as you can see here, it comes with these Disk Pi adapters. So what this does is it plugs into the power and the mini HDMI to give you a full size HDMI as well as just a power as well. And then this is going to sit kind of like that, right? It's going to it's going to sit there. I have to put some standoffs and which is what came as well in the box some standoffs and some screws and stuff like that so i'll get these mounted and i'll show you kind of what these look like once they're all in place so another good thing here in the user guide you might not be able to fully see it but it's just pretty much got like mounting points where you put the standoffs or what you're putting in here so they support the raspberry pi 3b the 3b plus the 4b uh it also supports the jetson nano the rock pi 5 as well and also you can just put some uh 2.5 hard drives in here as well so again, you can grab like additional of these plates. So at the moment, I've just got the bottom tray, right? And then I've also got the top tray for the pies, but you can buy additional trays as you need them. So what I'm going to do is let's get the Raspberry Pis mounted and we'll see what just that looks like to start off with. Right, so we have the two Raspberry Pis in now and they've been mounted. Uh, they have the Disk Pi adapters on here, so being able to get that HDMI. I had to actually take the top off so I could get in there and actually screw the screws down so uh, it was mounting onto the bracket, right? Well, onto the, the shelf. I've also got my Zimmer board on the bottom as well. Just seeing how I'm going to have things, you know, sitting. I also have the Zimmer blade as well, which I'm probably going to put here. I'm just kind of trying to get an idea on what I'm going to do and how I'm going to have everything sitting. What I do know is that this is telling me that I need to get more Raspberry Pis though. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. I also have the screen here from Alicro. Uh, link for this will be in the description if you're interested. But I'm going to find a way that I can mount this as well because I want this to be the front interface for everything that's happening on my Pi. You know, showing, you know, Grafana or stuff like that. Just being able to get an idea on what's happening with my cluster or whatever's happening in here or maybe my wider home lab setup. I don't know, but I'm going to see, figure out how I'm going to get this mounted um, and then we'll tidy this up and then we'll come back. So here we are. I would say this is the first stage of the DeskPi RackMate T1. Now I've just got the two Raspberry Pis up the top here, but we have the screen up top here from Alicro. Again, a link in the description for the RackMate as well as the Alicro uh, 10 inch display will be in the description. Now I just want to go over kind of my goal with this and what I'm planning on doing and my overall impressions of the Rackmate as well as the Alicro display that I also got sent. Now 
what I'm thinking of here, I was thinking of having the, you know, putting my NAS in here. I was thinking of putting as much server stuff as I could in here. But, you know, I already have shelves. Like, if you can see behind me, I already have shelves and they sit there. What I'm thinking of is I want to get more of these pie plates, right? And if I can get more of these, I want to start building up more of a Docker Swarm cluster, right? Now I see people doing clusters all the time. They build Kubernetes clusters and stuff like that. And I feel like a lot of these people that say they're building these clusters don't even end up using them. Now, my idea with this is that I want to start going through a bit of a Docker Swarm introduction series videos, you know, letting people know and helping other people understand how to use Docker Swarm, when to use Docker Swarm and how to use it in a home lab environment. I see, you know, Kubernetes and stuff is good, uh, but I honestly feel like it's a little overkill for a home lab. Now there's definitely use cases for it. You can use things like K3s and all of that, but I feel like Docker Swarm doesn't get enough love and I want to actually start building that. So this might actually become a Docker Swarm rack, right? We have all the pies in there. Now there could be other stuff as well, but I want to build a really cool cluster out of this. Um, and then at the top here, this display, what's great about it is that I can plug in, you know, a mouse and a keyboard into any of the Raspberry Pis, plug in the HDMI, as you can see here, the HDMI is in this one. I could plug it into this one if I need to troubleshoot or, you know, just get any sort of visual for that server or any other servers that I have plugged in. It's just a really easy way to get access to the UI that way. Now this switch down here probably isn't going to stay here for the whole time. It's just for me to test things. Um, and I also have a Raspberry Pi 2 tucked away uh, around the back here. Um, it's just running the LEDs that I've put in the back. I thought the LEDs look quite cool. The RGB, so you know, it, um, it gives it about three gigahertz more power on all of the Raspberry Pis. Don't quote me on that, but uh, it's true. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is, yeah, I'm going to start looking at getting some more Raspberry Pis as a perfect excuse to go get some more, uh, order a few more of these plates, and then we can start building up this cluster. And I think this will make a really cool video series. So that's the goal. That's the display. Now, what is my overall impression of the Rackmate rack, right? Now, I, I think it's great. Now, for disclosure, it was sent to me uh as a gift for the video, but I just want to state that this is about, if you want to order this in New Zealand, you're looking at about 300 New Zealand dollars to get it here. That's shipping and taxes and all of that stuff. Now, I know it's probably a bit cheaper in the US and if you're in Australia and stuff, then the shipping's probably not as bad, then it's probably a good option. Now, I was actually going to buy this anyway. Um, it just so happened that things worked out that I was able to get this. But honestly, if you are a home lab enthusiast, and you, you tinker with small, you know, single ball computers or small size things like you've got a NAS and stuff and you just want to tuck it away nicely and you don't have shelves like I already have behind me, then this is perfect and you can see you can do cool stuff. You can have the display up top. There's a lot of use cases for it and I'm excited to see how this really starts to fit into my existing home lab already. It's not exactly structured at the moment anyways. I just have, you know, my NAS, uh, my NAS, uh, my server and everything just sitting on a shelf with some cables running to a switch. But anyway, <laughs> this is probably the most tightest uh, setup I have so far. But I would, I would recommend getting this if the price factor isn't, you know, like, oh, okay. Um, if immediately you see the price and, you know, it's not really in your price range, then sure, it, it's no problem. But if you can afford to get it, then I would suggest yes get it if you can if you have a use case for it but that's pretty much it for this video for the first impressions now again this isn't just a one-off video i'm not just going to make a video on this and then I'm, you'll never hear from it again i'm planning on expanding this um i'm planning on you know getting some more raspberry pies building this cluster around and making it something really cool so keep an eye out for those videos Thank you so much for watching. Jump into the Discord if you're keen on getting updates on how these things are going, what the community is up to and everything like that. A link is in the description. Again, a link is in the description for the screen and also for the Rackmate itself. And if you do end up getting the Rackmate, I'd be really keen to know what you think of it as well and how you're using it. If you do get one, put some pictures in the Discord, show us how you've got it all set up. No doubt you're going to make it look a hundred times better than what I've got mine set up at the moment. Uh, but let's see what it's like in a few months and then we'll see and compare again. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.